Hey everybody, Steph here and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am about to do the latest Makeup Through the Ages challenge, um, which this time is the 1980s. Um, this is a collab that I do with Leah, Claire, Tanya and Victoria. Sorry, I should have been organised, I got my brushes and stuff out. Um, this week we're doing the 1980s and we're doing something slightly different. Um, we're going to be doing the Jordan Bone Challenge. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'll link it below. Um, it's not a, ch a channel that I followed um, is Jordan's, but she um, is trying to raise, raise awareness for spinal injury. Um, and she has limited use of her hands. So the challenge is to tape your hands up. Um, you can leave your thumb free. She can't grip with a thumb, um, but she can sort of use it to position brushes. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm very new to her channel, um, which I am enjoying watching actually. Um, I need to have a big catch up. So Leah this time suggested we give ourselves a bit of a challenge. So I am trying to tape my hands up, which is easier said than done. I don't know if I'm doing this right because I've not actually seen I probably should have searched on YouTube before I started doing my own version um, is to take my hands up. Now I'm having to use washi tape because I can't put any cellar tape so I don't know how well this will last. So as I said the 1980s so I'm going to I feel like I can still move my hands so maybe I've not done it right maybe I should have taped my hands my hands to my hands I don't know does anybody know my phone's downstairs so I can't even google it um, so I'm going to go ahead and I hope I don't make a complete and utter mess of this so I'm going to start, I'm going to try it to remember because I really want to watch Bake Off uh, which is done in a few minutes so I'm going to start off, uh, I haven't got a primer at the moment so I'm just going to use this um, Elizabeth Grant I don't know what it is, this stuff oh my god I don't think I've done this right because I can Put a bit of that on. Right, I don't appear to have brought a makeup sponge. So I'm using this collection Last Imperfection foundation. Can you see how I did that? I just squidged. Well that's a good start. I have foundation all down my top. I also haven't brought a mirror. I'm definitely not doing this right because I can do this. desperately need my eyebrows doing the like hairs are down to here I can't believe I've got it all down my top already so I've got this um, makeup revolution concealer Do you think I've taped my hands wrong? I don't know. Look, I can even fasten my products up. All right, I'm just going to crack on with it because I'm not. Um, I'm not going to have any other time to film this. Um, so we're going for the 1980s. So I'm just going to. Oh, I think this is split. That does nothing. That needs to be thrown away. That is disgusting. 
Um, that was Makeup Revolution Eye Heart Makeup Eye Primer. Um, I'm going to put some Remote Lasting Finish Powder on. I'm going to try doing my eyebrows with my HD brows. What are we doing? More brows. Oh. <laughs> Can you see that? I've got it all up there. They definitely didn't have brows like this in the 80s. They all had like tiny little mono brows, didn't they? They're not mono. Oh, you know what I mean, tiny little thin brows. <sighs> what do we do next? This is annoying me. You probably can't see it, but it, I keep catching it out of my eye. I'm going to go for the full on pink blush and this is from 17, no it's a mirror, stamp blush onto the apples of your cheeks and blend for a flush of colour. I feel like that is quite 80s and I'm just going to fan. Oh, I don't know. And then I'm just going to swizz over the top with this Milani Coral Cove. Just because. Now, I was born in the 80s, I was born in 81, um, and I think of, why am I trying to fasten things up? Um, I think of like the neon eyes and candy pink lips. So, I've picked out this Makeup Revolution in Sticks and Stones, which I don't think I've ever used before, um, and I'm going to use... A essence stays no matter what um, eyeshadow stick as eyeliner. Oh, um, and I've dug out this cargo palette that I bought the other week and never used. Um, this has got a decent sized mirror in. I've not long since come home from work, so I've quickly took today's makeup off. And I can still see bits of it. For a nice 80s feel, I'm going to use a sponge applicator and I'm going to use these from Cargo, are all very shimmery. So I'm going to use a colour Breeze, which is a bit of a lavendery colour everywhere. Ooh. 
Shimmer, shimmer. And then I'm going to go in with this Essence Blush My Lips number 12. The last thing, mascara. Wish me luck. I do feel like that should be electric blue mascara, but I haven't got any. So I'm just going to go with the good old Lash Prince F. So this is my finished 80s look. I'm pretty sure I've done this wrong, but we're going with it. Um, I would actually wear this to a fancy dress party if I was going 80s. Um, I'm pretty sure I've worn makeup like this in the 80s when I read my makeup basket. But let's not talk about that. Um, thank you very much for watching and let me know where I went wrong because this is clearly, this was too easy, I didn't use my mouth. I think I should have taped my hands like that. I don't know. Maybe you have to be completely wrong, I will do it again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!